Hey everybody, long time no see. I've been busy lately with my personal life, and also through technological reasons, I lost my editing software, and have been too lazy, and not broke, but economically lazy, to fix those problems. So I didn't get to make any more videos, and that really sucked, and I didn't like that. But, I'm going to record this video on my wife's phone. I'm going to speak as loudly as I can so that you can all hear me, hopefully. And this will be possibly my last video. I'm moving soon, and I don't know how my life is going to be after I do that. It has been a wonderful privilege to be able to make YouTube videos in my life, and I can't promise that I'm going to continue to have that privilege. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to cover the last script I wrote up, which is actually fitting because it's something that I've wanted to make a video about for a long time, essentially from the beginning of when I started to make videos. And it'll be a nice little possible farewell or a complete teaser because I might solve all my problems once I move. We'll see. So this video is about whether or not all languages are related. So, this is kind of a big question, and it's one I'm definitely not qualified to answer. But, I'm going to do my best, and saying all that, take everything I'm about to say with a massive grain of salt, practically a boulder of salt, and without... Uh, excuse me, because this is unedited, you're going to see me stutter, and that's going to be fun because usually I can cut this out. Okay, so, are all languages related? So, first I'm gonna say no, and then I'm gonna say yes, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. First off, let's think about like the various ways that we can even approach this question. We can approach this question linguistically, we can approach this, this question anthropologically, we can approach this question biologically even, and ask ourselves, where does language actually begin for humans? And what does having a language imply about humanity? Okay, hold on to all of those while I go through why all languages are related. So, wait, no, other way, other way. First, I'm going to go through why all languages are not related. So... Language is a very fast evolving thing. It's just in the last 500 years of English. Think about how much has changed. Think about trying to read older English, not old English, older modern English. It's not easy, and that's just 500 years. That's not taking into account the tens of thousands of years that humans have existed and all of the languages that we can assume that they spoke. Also think about all the languages that were never written down and were only passed from generation to generation orally, how fast those might change. And on the other hand, how many things have been conserved as we reconstructed Proto-Indo-European and we can look at other Indo-European languages and find words that are similar and that can imply to us that those languages are related. But remember that the list of words that we can see are related between Indo-European languages is rather small in comparison to the entire vocabulary of any of those languages. So how many fewer words could we ever even tease out and look at to see if every language is related? The best argument I've heard is numbers 1 through 10. That's something that I looked at as I was going through each individual language family in my language family's video, is I would seek out the words for 1 through 10 and hunt for patterns, and I found that there could be tortured a pattern between all languages in the numbers 1 through 10, but I don't think that any of the patterns, personally, seemed more plausible than just the random sounds that make up the words that we use. So that was going to be a big piece of this video once I eventually made it, and the conclusion of that little personal experiment was you can't tell from the numbers 1 through 10, that all languages are related. Let me look through my notes and make sure I said everything that I wanted to say. So, 
sorry. Excuse me. Okay. So that's all of the reasons that all languages aren't, that you can't say that all languages are related. Now, here's the things that make me say that all languages could be argued to be related. And the biggest piece of this argument is the horrifying things that happen when you isolate a person from language in their early development. Some of you may have heard of these, but just to let you know about them, there have been various atrocities throughout recorded history where a child was segregated from society in a way that they never learned language. Some of these were medieval kings that did this on purpose. Um, specifically, there was a king in modern-day Germany. Did I write down his name? No, I'm trash, and I can't remember it, and I can't fix it and edit, so you'll just have to trust me on this. Um, he wanted to figure out the language that Adam and Eve spoke, and he postulated that they spoke Hebrew, or possibly Latin, or possibly Greek, because those were both very old languages to him, and they are very old languages. And so he had a bunch of kids separated and um, nursed and taken care of by nuns who would not speak to them or around them. And what they found was, frustratingly, the kids developed their own ways of communicating with each other and didn't actually speak any other any languages. So, wah, wah. there were also situations where you had people in more modern times who were um, kind of a content warning, this isn't going to be fun, abused by their parents in such a way that they were like tied up in a basement or a cellar or something for like 13 years. And it's just, these are terrible things, you can find them on the internet. Um, just because I'm great at taking notes, I didn't write down any of those uh, names of the people in the cases because I'm great. And anyway, and these people, once they became saved by Child Protective Services and reintroduced to society, learned how to speak, but never completely were able to speak with full linguistic capabilities. So um, one example that I remember is this girl, when she was 13, they took her out of the atrocious situation she was in, and she could not speak at all and then checked back in on her in three years. So she was 16 years old, and she still didn't understand essential pieces of grammar, such as past tense, future tense, present tense. She confused the words me and you, which is, sounds crazy, but it makes sense when you think like, when the person talking to you refers to like you and me, and then me is me and you is you, but when you're speaking, you are me and me is you, that's that's a complicated thing to understand if you've never been exposed to language in your life. So she, it was understandable why this person confused those things. So where I'm going with all this is there seems to be kind of a nature versus nurture question at the root of languages being related. Whereas if you aren't taught language in an early enough stage, you won't develop it in the right, in the same way of someone who does. So that means if everybody has language, every human culture has language, there must have been some point where they were all together and there was a spoken language that was passed from generation to generation. So that means all languages are related. But we can't know what that early language sounded like. We can't even make guesses as to what its grammar was, really. I even bought a book to try to make this video. And, where is it, where is it, where is it? It was titled The Genesis of Language, and I kind of hoped it would be about this, but it's just talking about how children develop language themselves. So that really didn't help me very much. And, um, hilarious thing, I didn't finish the script for this video, so this is kind of a where this ends. Um, a, a, yeah. Not a cliffhanger, but a, a non-answer. I'm 
going to keep rambling because I think my... Oh, are you writing something for... Oh, sorry. I thought my wife was writing something for me. Um, so I'm just going to... I'm going to close this out now on that note. Um, thank you all very much for watching. I continue to gain subs, specifically from the African linguistics videos that I've made and the uh, Tokarian videos. Uh, if any people who subbed because of those videos are watching this, hello and goodbye. Um, I have more ideas for videos, but I don't know if I'm going to get to make them. So if I see you again, I'll see you again. And if I never see you again, have a great time. Bye-bye.